is there a guy you are deciding to fade in this showdown? <sighs> Man, I, it's it's really tough. There's there's not one guy I'm for sure staying away from. I mean, Kleba is is definitely on the watch list for me. He's on the the potentially fade list. I, I think it's probably Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, it just it kind of it's kind of the opposite op, uh, argument of what we just said about Kleba, where it's like, all right, Spencer Dinwiddie had a, another fantastic game off the bench. He typically doesn't do this twice in a row. You know, he's he's kind of been a disappearing act at times in these playoffs that all of a sudden he'll go for 25 or 30 off the bench and then he's down to six points the next game. Um, so while I think there's room for improvement for a lot of those role players on the Dallas bench, I, I don't quite see Spencer Dinwiddie having the game that he did in game three. So I think maybe some people think back to that. Maybe they look at the game log and they just blindly plug Dinwiddie in. Okay, Matty, maybe there's not someone you're just absolutely staying away from, but should people be cautious with any of these guys plugging them and playing them? Well, I think people that look at ownership projections should be really cautious about Kavan Looney because this slate is a little tricky where there's a bunch of guys that are priced very similarly between the mid sixes and the mid eights in salary. And I think Looney is going to get touted because his recent performance has been unbelievable and his ownership projections just based on like the way his fantasy stats look for the course of the season it's not going to come in that high. I think most people are just kind of going to expect that he's moderately owned because he's in the same tier as players who generally are much better fantasy players than him, like Jalen Brunson and Spencer Dinwiddie and Andrew Wiggins, Jordan Poole, Dorian Finney-Smith. And I think when the game actually starts and we see all the ownership come through, Looney is going to be much higher than people expect just because of recency bias. He's looked unbelievably good and Otto Porter Jr. is out, so his minutes are more secure. But the Warriors are definitely comfortable playing Draymond Green at center, and there's definitely significant downside for Looney for that reason if, let's say, the Mavericks get out to an early lead and the Warriors are in catch-up mode where, Dray where they go small and Draymond plays center. So I think there are a lot of ways Looney fails, and I could see him being among the most popular players on the slate.